Hi everybody, thanks for joining me on another fossil hunting video. Today I've come out to Robin Hood's Bay to look for some nice rarities. So you see he's in quite a little bit. We're gonna walk along the cliff top all the way to Boggle Hole, which is in the middle of here. And we're gonna walk towards Ravenscar and then back towards Robin Hood's Bay. So hopefully we find some good material today. I'll come back to you when I'm at the bottom of the cliffs. There's already a few people on the first bit of the beach. We're gonna be coming out over there somewhere. We've made it to Boggle Hole, now we're going to walk along the path all the way down to the bottom. And we've made it. Hopefully there'll be some good stuff laying around waiting to be picked up today. So I'm certainly not expecting to find lows today. Everything what washes up here is either middle lias or lower lias. So it's a lot more rarer to find in general. But hopefully I find one decent thing and then I'll be very happy. Quite a little bit of material which has freshly fallen, probably with all the heavy rain from last night. I'm making sure I don't go directly under because these cliffs are really unstable. But looking from a distance, Nice little bivalve shell that I've spotted in here. A little bit crushed. You can see how it's all turned to horrible muddy sludge underneath the cliffs. So I've just been tapping a tiny little rock and this lovely little gastropod has popped out of it. It's so small, but hopefully you can make out the lovely detail on that. Hopefully I won't lose it on the way back home. A very seaworn devil's toenail. Very water-worn Dactyliosaurus. This oh, rockfall yeah. here looks fairly recent. All mud. Oh, now that does look very impressive. All of last night's heavy rainfall heading down the cliff. Look at that for a huge section of ammonite. Absolutely ginormous. Let's wash it off so you can see all the suture marks. So I've not found very much at all around Boggle Hole, so I'm going to make his way all the way around to the left side of Robin Hood's Bay. So I've made it all the way to the other side of Robin Hood's Bay, and I have just found a nice looking DAC nodule. Hopefully you can spot the keel poking out there. Potentially there could be two in there, but it's a really nice sized one. Obviously this isn't from 
Robin has bait's washed in but it's definitely worth taking back just like that because it will be a nice one hi everyone so i'm back up from the beach now unfortunately didn't find that much today apart from the odd dakar too however let me go ahead and show you my amalfius from my last hunt at boggle hall so my friend malcolm has done the preparation work for this beautiful piece for me he's cut a lovely base so it stands without a display stand it has a lovely little bivalve shell washed up against it you can see the amalfius turned out absolutely stunning it did have a little touch up on the keel however i don't think that takes away anything from the piece it's certainly one which i'm very proud to have in my collection it's a amalfius stokesy species hopefully you have enjoyed this video and i will catch you all on the next one